Saying hello is one of the first things you'll learn in Basque, but there are several ways to do this, depending on time of day and the person you're talking to. Hi, I'm Shanna, and this is Basque Berserk. Here are five common Basque phrases to say hello, plus three less common phrases to watch out for. Number one, kaisho, hi, or hello. This is probably the most common way to say hello. You can use it in lots of situations, to one person or many, to friends or strangers. Number two, egunon, hello or good morning. Egun means day, and on means good. So this literally translates as good day, but essentially this is a phrase you'll use before noon. If you hear it said really fast, it'll sound like eonon, eonon. Number three, eguerdion, good noon. You use this right about noon time. Egu is from egun, day, and erdi means half. So it roughly translates as good middle of the day or good noon. Number four, arrachaleon, hello, or good afternoon. Arrachale is the afternoon, and on is good, so arrachaleon is basically used from after lunch until about dinner time. Some Basques drop the R's, and you'll hear achaleon. Number five, aupa, or epa, hey, or hi. You can probably use this in most casual social situations. I personally use aupa, but you may see other variants, such as epa, yepa, eup, or yep. These hey words can also be stressed to mean watch out or to get someone's attention. Check out this video I found, and you can hear the difference between hey, hi, and hey, watch out. Now here are some less common ways to greet someone. Number six, gaon or gabon. Hello, good evening, or good night. Gao means night, and again, on means good. So literally, it means good night. And you will often see it as one word, gabon. You can use this as a good evening to say hello to someone, but much more commonly, you'll hear it as a good night or farewell. Here's the confusing thing. You may see gabon with a capital G or gabonak, good nights, referring to Christmas time in Basque. Number seven, agur, hello, or goodbye. This is a rather formal word since it translates as greeting. So you may hear it in formal social situations or at the beginning of letters or emails. Maybe you want to save this greeting for when you meet the president of the Basque country. <laughs> Much more commonly, you'll hear agur as a way to say goodbye. Number eight, adio, or ayo hello, or goodbye. This also commonly means goodbye, though I've encountered it much less often. You may also encounter it as a greeting, though. It's related to Spanish, adios, or French, adieu, so just be careful in case you come across it. All right, guys, I want you to go out there and use those Basque greetings. If you don't have any Basque friends to practice with, just aggressively yell these at your normal friends until they become Basque speakers. Thanks for watching. Agur.